Hello, and welcome back to Madison Reads, an unnecessary list that no one asked for, part two. It is super bright outside, so for the sake of my eyes, I'm going to wear sunglasses this video. Hope y'all don't mind. For today's Madison Reads and Unnecessary List Known As for Part 2, I'm going to read a list of all the books, the titles of all the books I've written. There's a lot. <laughs> and before I get into that, I just want to give a little background into my personal writing. I started writing when I was 10 years old and the first book I ever wrote was like 50 some odd pages. Um, I've gotten better throughout the years and my novels have gotten longer throughout the years. Most of the book titles that I'm going to share with you can't be found anywhere aside from in a bin with all the notebooks inside of it. That is the only place that you can get a vast majority of these for good reason. Two thirds of this list, the books suck. <laughs> but I thought that it would be fun to share with you all the books that I've written and you know, you know do a little, little humble brag you know so here we go again I make lists for anything and everything this page is very old <laughs> but here's the list of all the books I've written as I said the first book I ever wrote I was 10 years old and it was 50 some odd pages and it's called Broken Hearts Broken Hearts is very rudimentary, very bare bones, but uh, it's about alternate dimensions and evil uncles and, you know, soulmate champions, so all that fun stuff you write about when you're 10. <laughs> the second book I wrote is called Songs and Hearts. Songs and Hearts is about, I think, I think I was sixth grade when I wrote Songs and Hearts. Um, again, not that good, but it's about a girl who is dragged to the concert of a famous pop star, and that famous pop star does a surprise event in which a fan can come on stage and sing with him. She sings with him, they end up being a success, they end up touring together, and they start dating, but it's just to become more popular. <laughs> You'll notice that all of my novels have to do with romance in some capacity, so... Yeah, that's not ever gonna change. I'm a romance writer. <laughs> the third book is Being the Butterfly Queen, book one, The Cody Generation. Needless to say, there's no other books in this series. I don't remember what like, if it was going to be a trilogy, if it was going to be a saga, if it was just, you know, going to be a long series of books. But yeah, it, mm -mm, it died after book one. Number four is called Touch the Sky. I've wanted to reread this book just for kicks and giggles because I don't really remember what it's about. I know it's about super humans, like superhero type thing. Um, this was seventh grade and I was super into the series Maximum Ride by James Patterson. Fantastic book series, by the way, especially the first three books. Those are awesome. But I was super into that series and it just really inspired me to do my own like mutant superhuman superhero uh, storyline. So that's what Touch the Sky is about. Protect us of the prophecy book one, the apocalypse. This it's kind of sad, you know, shed a tear for this tragic tale that I'm about to share with you. This is the first book that I wrote entirely online on a Word document, and it was on my first ever laptop. That laptop is dead, and the story is lost forever. Unfortunately, this is one of those stories that technically doesn't exist anymore. It probably has a digital footprint somewhere, but it's gone. It's been lost to old technology, which is so sad. Protectors of the Prophecy and Songs and Hearts. I was in a Super Smash Brothers Brawl kick. I was really obsessed with that game, especially on the Wii. 
and in that game my favorite characters were Ike and Marth from Fire Emblem and these were kind of my forms of fanfiction because Songs and Hearts is the main character is Marth and Protectors of the Prophecy both Ike and Marth are in it. So I guess you could say that those are our fanfictions. I didn't know anything about them aside from what they look like and that they're from Fire Emblem but I've never played Fire Emblem. I don't know anything about them. But anyway, I was super into those characters so I wrote books about them because that's what you do when you're in 7th grade or 8th grade and you're obsessed with the character. I believe I'm on number 6, Love Means War. I actually recently reread this and oh, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I was obsessed with love triangles. I want to do a video about love triangles later on so I'll, I'll you know, I won't touch upon that in this video. The Love Means War is essentially a story of a love triangle between um, the main character and then two boys in the school. It's uh, it's a story that I wrote and it exists now and I'm glad no one aside from myself has ever read it. <laughs> Number 7, PG-13. I think I was entering high school at this point. Yes, I was in high school because PG-13, freshman year, so I was 14 years old. PG-13 is a story that I wrote out of pure fantasy. I wanted my life to go in a certain direction and I was just having these really almost obsessive daydreams. So I decided to put the daydream on paper. I don't know, maybe I was convinced it would make the daydream a reality. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> but yeah, PG-13 is basically just my daydreaming about wanting a boyfriend when I was 14 years old. The Angel of St. Agatha's. I'm not gonna go into the details of this story because I'm hoping to maybe someday do a rewrite of the story and then making that rewrite public. So I'm just gonna leave it as the Angel of St. Agatha's and you guys can uh, use your imagination. Put your guesses down below what you think the Angel of St. Agatha's is all about. Number nine, Steal My Soul. I recently reread this one as well. Steal My Soul is based on a dream I had when I was in high school. It was kind of a nightmare, technically. It's about these creatures that have huge, huge eyeballs and they're able to steal human souls. And because it's me, the storyline revolves around a girl who has, you know, it's like those vampire novels, your blood is the most appealing to me. <laughs> So it was that concept where her soul was super attractive and like people wanted to steal it and she ends up falling for the people that steals souls. Number 10, The Secret World. This one is another one that's been lost to technology and it was the first story, second story, Steal My Soul was the first one, second story that I started to post online. There was this wonderful site called Quizilla. That thing. That website was the only thing that kept me entertained during history class in high school. Because <laughs> we could have laptops to take notes on. <laughs> I did not take notes, I just went on Quizilla and did quizzes and wrote books. So that's fun. So The Secret World unfortunately has been lost to laptops that are now dead and to Quizilla, which no longer exists. But The Secret World was um, one of those, your video game persona versus your persona, you know, where do the lines cross? Romance is happening in the video game versus romances in real life. Are you cheating? What if it's the same person? I wanna find out who this person is in this video game, blah, blah, blah. Number 11, Extraordinary, this is where Wattpad comes into play. In fact, you can find the original of Extraordinary on my Wattpad account at Confabulate. Link in the description box below if you want to go check it out. Extraordinary um, can be pronounced Extraordinary or Extraordinary. Done on purpose. My recording device overheated <laughs> and stopped recording so now we have this lovely new angle this is fun this is just uh, an experiment in angles we'll say I was talking about extraordinary extraordinary 
is about a male model extraordinaire who falls for a girl in his class who is very much a background character who just kind of goes about life not that extraordinary she's extraordinary um, and their lives kind of coming together there's unrequited feelings fun zany stuff going on <laughs> number 12 don't forget don't forget is a fantasy novel that is about a human who goes to a school for superhumans so vampires werewolves witches people with superpowers she's the only human and that turns out to be quite dangerous uh, again i just want to reiterate that the stories from extraordinary onward can be found on my wattpad account so if any of these stories interest you check out my wattpad account link in the description box below the deadly trials the original version is about a girl who on her 18th birthday is magically transported to another realm there she has to participate in the deadly trials uh, for the hand of the prince i remember when i wrote that it was an experiment in writing styles so i wanted to change up how i was writing and i wanted it to be more mature comparatively don't know how well it turned out but that's the deadly trials the original I don't think the original version of the Deadly Trials is available on Wattpad. Just, just to tell ya. Just to let you know. Open My Eyes, the original, is, um, well on the rewrite. Both of them are about, uh, a young woman who volunteers at a child, children, child rehabilitation center and falls for a fellow volunteer there who is blind. Your Little Servant is really fun. It is mostly humor based. It is about a girl, woman, young lady, who meets this guy who claims to be her loyal servant and she just wants nothing to do with it and the zany antics that follow. Exceptional is the sequel to Extraordinary. So it follows those same characters. This time, however, they're out of high school, they're out of college even, and they're out in the real world. And uh, it's them reuniting after like five years, I think, of being apart, not being in each other's lives. And again, some wacky fun ensues. Michael was another one of those experiments in style. And it's a vampire novel. It's about a vampire who's seeking a cure to vampirism and the fun adventure he and his love interest go on. That book is okay. You know, it's, I'm trying not to hate on my old stuff because you had to start somewhere. I really want to revisit the idea of vampires seeking cure for vampirism, that concept. I want to revisit it in the style that I have adopted now and just kind of re-look at the concept of vampires seeking cure for vampirism. You're welcome to check it out. If you don't like it, same. <laughs> now we start into some of the less exciting stuff. I call this non-original fiction. Um, this is where I start I start my rewrite obsession, I suppose. Um, and it starts with the Don't Forget rewrite. I should say this, the original version of Don't Forget is not available on my Wattpad, but the rewrite, rewritten version is. So, just to clarify, the rewrite has the exact same plot, only human at a non-human school, the dangers that ensue with all of that. I enjoy it. The Deadly Trials rewrite took me a long time, a lot longer than I wanted it to, and it changed a lot from the original. Like I said before, the original is not available on Wattpad, but the rewrite is. So it's about a girl who is taken to another planet along with 29 other girls, and all of them compete for the chance to marry the prince, and also the chance for survival. It's almost Hunger Games-ish, 
except a lot more fantasy based. <laughs> Open My Eyes rewrites. Uh, the original and the rewrite are both available on Wattpad. You can check both of them out. Again, follows the same the same plotline of girl volunteers at a rehabilitation center and meets a volunteer who happens to be blind, and their relationship moving onward. <laughs> Finally, the extraordinary rewrite follows the same plot. Both of them are available on Wattpad, so you can compare and contrast, see what you think. And again, it's a male model extraordinaire who kind of attaches himself to a non-popular who's just very much in the background and is very extraordinary and their fun zany antics. There is the line, I will say this, I think it's the beginning of chapter two. Chapter two of Extraordinary, the rewrite, starts with the line, ream me in the butthole. If that catches your attention, link in the description box below to my Wattpad account. Check out the Extraordinary rewrite. That is my list. I'm hoping it'll get longer. It should get longer. I want it to get longer. I always have a million and one ideas in my head. But those are all the books that I've written. Most of them will be unavailable in full. But it's nice to look back, see where I started, you know, all this started with broken hearts back when I was 10 and now here I am, just chugging along, doing what I can. Writing has been an amazing journey and it continues to be my number one passion and I'm just really thankful that we have a platform like YouTube where I can share that with viewers who care or don't care at all. That was, uh... A list, an unnecessary list that absolutely nobody asked for. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye! Stupid overheating recording devices. I'm so hip and cool in my sunglasses. Boy howdy is it warm? <laughs> You guys get to see my nice little uh, fuzzy socks and sweatpants now. <laughs> I think I found my little snapshot screen capture for my thumbnail. <laughs>